get straight into it. So first up, my first look at it, it is a beautiful package. I love the clean label. It's very nice. And this container is actually pretty heavy for being so big. So I'm really hoping that there's lots of products in there. It's not just like this much air and this much product. There's no point to that. I don't know why companies do that sometimes, but I don't think this one will. Then you've got the acacia gum, which is just a prebiotic fiber. Don't be confused by kind of the weird word. Um, natural flavors. This is kind of hit or miss sometimes because technically anything from the earth is natural. It could literally be beaver anal glands, which they use to make vanilla flavoring and raspberry flavoring, which, I mean, how did they even discover that? Did someone just go, oh, let me taste this. Huh, it tastes like vanilla. I have no idea. I don't understand that whole process and how it goes about that, but each to their own, I guess. It's made with grass-fed butter, which is so much better than the other butter because it contains a fatty acid called butyrate. And butyrate has been shown to help boost your metabolism and it also helps with your insulin sensitivity. So it's a really, really good addition that they have grass-fed butter in this product. This product also contains MCT oil, which is a fat burning fuel as well. It helps produce ketones, which end up burning fat. Now, it's 100 calories per serving, but I'm honestly not really worried about the calories. I care more about the macros. So let's take a look at the fats, which are 10 grams, not too bad. The total carbohydrates is four grams. However, if you take away the prebiotic fiber, which they have actually done for you in the little section next to the nutrition facts, it is actually two grams of carbs, which is pretty good, especially for a coffee creamer. There's some creamers out there that have like 30 grams of carbohydrates. It's insane. So this is definitely much better than that. And zero grams of protein, which that's okay. Oh, wow. There's actually a lot in here. That's awesome. That's why it was so heavy. But I do see that it is pretty clumpy. Let me, oh no, the clumps go away. So the second you touch the clumps, it literally just becomes powder. So if you see that it's clumpy, don't be deterred by that. It is, it's gonna just turn into powder the second you touch it. So that's a huge bonus. I love that it comes with a scoop. That's the best because I hate it when you have to kind of measure it yourself and you're wondering, is this really a serving size? And it's just so much easier when they provide a scoop for you and especially a scoop with a long handle. That is the best, especially in powdery products because you don't wanna be digging all in there and getting your hands all covered in powder, especially if you're on the go and then you're kind of doing these things and it's, yeah, it's so much cleaner. So that's really awesome. Oh God, it smells amazing. Oh, it smells like butterscotch, which is weird because it's hazelnut. So I don't know, but it smells like it's gonna taste really good. So let's taste it. And it's done. Look at all of that froth. I love froth, but I did use a milk frother. So if you don't have one of those and you use a fork or a spoon, it probably wouldn't make the froth. So keep that in mind. It mixed together really nicely. I don't see any little clumpy bits in there. Let's give it a try. Mmm, that's surprisingly good. It doesn't really have a hazelnut flavor though, which is kind of disappointing because I was looking forward to that. But it tastes good. It's got a really nice sweetness to it. It is a very strong sweetness, so I could see how that could be very off-putting for some people, especially as you drink this coffee. So if you don't love sweetness, then you might want to mix it with maybe a half a teaspoon of butter, 
or sorry, half a tablespoon of butter and a half a tablespoon of MCT oil with a half of a scoop of the hazelnut creamer. And I think that would make it a little bit more mild and have a really nice flavor to it. If you're for the convenience of it all, then maybe mix half of the original flavor of the Bulletproof creamer and half of the hazelnut, and then it would create a really nice flavor as well, but you'd still have the convenience of it. So I do like this. I think I would buy it if it was on sale, I'd buy a lot of it. If it was not on sale and I was paying full price, I think I'd skip it. It is more of a convenience thing. The flavor is there, it does taste good. It's just really missing that hazelnut taste. Maybe the original is better, the unflavored. I also haven't tried the vanilla. I would love to try the vanilla. Vanilla is my favorite flavor, so that would be nice to try. But out of 10, I'd probably say this is a seven and a half just because I'm missing that hazelnut flavor. It is very sweet and it is a bit more of an expensive product, but it does taste good. So like I said, I'd probably buy a lot of it if it was on sale. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to like this video, comment on this video if you have any future video suggestions for me, and subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more videos just like this one. Anyway, I hope you have a great day. See you later.